Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, and today we are to go ahead and check out today's daily challenge. It looks like there's an ad to Bloons Monkey City, but also for winning this one, which is Logs Hard Alternate Balloons Round, we get 100 monkey money and um, a 202 Druid Monkey. It looks like our goal is to um, play with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Oban, and we have a Submarine Magic Monkey Tack Shooter, and, or whatever it is, spike thing. <laughs> and the Druid Monkey, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I don't know entirely what monkey I wanna focus on in today's episode, but I'm sure we'll find out along the way. Maybe first it'll just be smart to start with Oban. Um, we'll put him about here. I think this is gonna be smarter than if we put him in some other locations. Still can't remove the logs around you, which is always a bummer, in my opinion. But it should be fine. But yeah, I do wanna say thank you guys so much for your support in this series. Wanna post more episodes soon. I've been busy with a lot of stuff. So I'm like, this is a nice map. I think this is one of the first maps we completed on hard mode. And that's fine with me because like, this is a really, I feel like this might actually be one of the easiest maps just because of how it works. The grid based system, the balloons have to go through. The only thing with this one, as you might've noticed, is that it's a little bit different with how things get tackled. So um, you can't always, does this make it? No, none of this will actually let them see. It. Okay, so we might get beat up a little bit because now I'm noticing that I didn't do anything to prepare for camos. This is like inverted balloons or something. So just like the amount of balloons, what type it is. I don't know if it's randomized or if it, I know it's different, clearly. Um, so I might've made a major mistake. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, did you panic when you saw the camo? Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> thanks for calling it. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. I, I'm not entirely familiar with this game. It looks like we already have regrows. Like it gets difficult real quick, real fast. So if I could just get advanced intel and then maybe focus on something else, it'd be great. Uh, maybe just getting a little bit of everything. I definitely want a spike trail. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a bad start. Is there any way, you know what? Let's go ahead and restart now. Now that I know that it's gonna throw camo at me right away, I feel like we should just get a fresh start and sort of uh, revise. Um, what's going to have camo vision? Um, monkey scent, right? Maybe uh, allows wizards to hit camo balloons. Maybe we should focus on that first. I mean, I love Oban and getting him set up with things, especially since he does end up supporting magic monkeys, I think. But uh, maybe we just gotta start with this. We'll get the 325, upgrade that. That might not be enough. We still might get hit by uh, some stuff here as we go along. But it's sort of kind of our best bet for now. What is this, hard difficulty or medium, normal difficulty? I think it's medium. Um, can, we, can we get another? Alternate balloon rounds. Like, what does it mean by alternate? I mean, I guess it's like different balloons than before, right? Like, it's an alternative way to play the game. I don't know. I gotta read into it a little bit more. <laughs> but hey, maybe we'll play a little bit more Magic Monkey. We have played and leveled him up in the past, but I feel like we haven't really gotten as far as we can. We've never gotten to like Archmage or Wizard Lord Phoenix or um, Prince of Darkness. We've never gotten that far. Well, maybe we've done Archmage. I can't remember. I don't know if we've ever gotten to that fifth tier with him. So I didn't quite make it yet, but I could if he keeps popping these blue ones, these regrows. Come on, come on, come on. Keep making that money, keep making that money. I don't know if we're gonna get it. It might be too late, but just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Ah, uh, that's too late. Oh, wow, we tried, we tried. Okay, so we might actually, I don't think we'll lose from that, but we're so close to just being able to see camo and then everything else will be fine. We'll be able to work from there. 325, we can see the camo now. That'll make it a lot easier. Right now we're not actually dealing with any of the camo. So we'll try to keep upgrading this guy. If we could get Necromancer Unpopped Army, I thought that'd be very helpful in a map like this. But yeah, I think we'll move for uh, Necromancer. When it comes to the secondary thing, we can either do Unguided Magic, Arcane Blast. Um, that might be good. I feel like it'd be better than the Wall of Fire for right now. So I think we'll work towards that. It's also gonna be cheaper, which would be a lot more accessible. Um, but should I work towards that right now? I think we should get the 160 Guided Magic. I feel like that would help. But man, are we getting our butt speed. Maybe that's not even worth it. It's it's tough to decide. It's like, it's not an easy game mode at all. But I don't know what else could have seen the camo. Cause if we take a look, right? Like, no, I wanted to see this guy. He doesn't have anything that immediately sees camo, as far as I can tell. So really, oh, this is bad. Um, I really don't know what our better options are. A lot of people are saying that I should be using like power-ups more often. I feel like, I know some people disagree that's not cheating, that is cheating, I really don't know. I'm a little on the fence about it. I feel like in some ways it is sort of kind of, you know, giving yourself an advantage in some way. All we need is a submarine now. If, you know, one dude can see camo, then we can get the submarines to all see camo as well. So we just need this guy to kick some butt. Really, that's what we're looking for. And we might take some damage in the meantime. Um, come on, come on, can we get 140? 
No, oh, oh, there we go, got it, okay. So let's try to get the 540, that way, you know, that way he can just see everything that the magic monkey sees, and that makes things a whole lot easier. The regrows, honestly, are a lot less scary to me, I think. It's looking like it. 540 is gonna be a tough thing to get to, and some things are just gonna get past us. Ooh, we might lose from that. Jeez, this is so difficult. Like, this is a real challenge. I'm not really, I don't know if I could do this. I mean, maybe Oban would be a better idea. Maybe we could put Oban a little farther back as well. Um, like maybe around that first corner. And then we got some uh, metal monkeys. Are we gonna be able to beat those guys? Oh my gosh, we can't. No, 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 wait, wait, maybe we can? Not the metal, they said metal monkeys, they're metal balloons. So we're actually sorta of, kinda of surviving this round, but this darn lead. Like there's always something, right? Like what do I do? I can't put out that many monkeys. I guess, I, I guess you just have to do superpowers, like how, like if anybody knows, how would you do this without superpowers? Is it expected you just have to use superpowers in some situations? I guess so. All right, well then we'll go for that again, because once again, is there anything else? Like can, I mean I guess a spike track could pop camo, but the problem with that is that, or spike factory, is that you can't get that in time, so you need to go with this. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and I guess buy some of this, but it's like in that amount of time, like I'm spending 200 monkey money on that. I'm not getting that back, you know? Like we're gonna win like 100 monkey money for winning this even? Was it even that much? So it's just like I'm already losing money by participating in this daily challenge. So I must be doing something wrong, you know? Inherently I should be doing something wrong as far as I understand. Anyways, that definitely puts us a lot more farther ahead. I mean, maybe it's still really foolish to uh, do something like, uh, Arcane instead of the fire, especially now that I know there's lead. But we'll find out. <laughs> we'll definitely find out. I, I'm trying to find a good placement for him. I think this is fine. Okay, so we used up a lot of our cash there. But uh, with the spike trap and everything, things should turn out just fine. I'm like, I'm not as worried about this one. Did you panic with the camera? Not this time. Third time's a charm, right? All I had to do was use power ups. Okay, just, it doesn't feel right, you know? Like I just feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a dingus about it. So we'll probably go maybe like four zero or two with this. Spiked balls will at least help us with the, 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 the ceramic and fortified, which I feel like is something we need. Uh, maybe long life spikes, but at this point, it's actually at a pretty early stage of the track. So I feel like long life spikes just don't really help too much for how early these uh, balloons are gonna go through all of this. Maybe if we make another spike track, that's where long life spikes would be helpful. But uh, I don't wanna, wonder one of the first lead will appear. That, that probably means soon. But this time, I think we can handle it. Maybe not though. Nice. Ooh, I'm a little concerned now. We're about to find out soon enough. Um, hmm. Okay, so, uh, so far so decent. Like things aren't turning out too badly. But yeah, I'm thinking that we'll focus a little on magic monkeys in today's episode. We'll just try to, you know. Okay, so Oban can get rid of those leads. That's beautiful. But there would have been no way we could have gotten you and then gotten Oban in like in any kind of amount of time that would work, you know? We took so much damage when doing that before. It's just, I don't really see how it's possible, you know? It's just tough. It just feels like there's no real correct answer except for use power ups, which, especially in a daily challenge, I don't like that because you're definitely ending up spending more money than you're going to receive. And that's not so cool. But I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that. Maybe you'll get money both for completing the daily challenge and if you've never completed this game mode on this map, you also get extra money. I'm not really sure. But, anyways, boom. White hot spikes will definitely be helpful. Don't think I'm gonna go for that next upgrade just yet. Maybe now's the time to go for a druid farm, because if we wanna earn up a lot of cash, I think that'd be the most useful. Because remember, the druids, they can, not only can they help each other out, but they can actually end up turning the balloons into gold, you know? Right? Is that druids? No, no, no. Maybe that's not druids. Oh, that's alchemists. Okay. Um, gains attack speed during the round. Okay, so yeah, I guess they really don't. Jungle's Bounty ability generates extra cash per banana farm won't be too helpful because we don't have banana farms, I don't think. Um, so we, we'll probably want him to have Lightning. I think Lightning, maybe Heart of Vengeance, uh, gains attack speed for the 100 lives lost after getting this upgrade. Lives above maximum do not count. Okay, so yeah, if things go awful, he'll sort of help us out a little bit. I don't need that right away. I don't even need the extra range right away, so I'm just gonna save for the uh, Hard Thorns. And that should hopefully help with all the non-camo. When it comes to his bottom upgrade, we have Druid of Wrath, 
gains attack speed during the round as long as a druid is popping balloons, and then Pop Lust boosts attack speed for all, wait, wait, yep, yep. okay, for a second I thought I was reading the wrong thing. Boosts attack speed for all, for all druids in the radius, yeah, okay. So that's what we need, but that's like pretty far out there for right now. I, I just wanna get the lightning strikes, but right, that's just gonna be smarter, and then keep it at that. We'll work on some other stuff later. Okay, so we're about halfway there. Awesome, yeah. We're about halfway there for the uh, Heart of Thunder. If this is an interesting daily challenge, it's not easy, I can say that much. No, I don't wanna choose any other apps when I'm busy playing this one. Okay, boom, got it, not bad. So we could do like Druid of the Storm, it'll knock balloons back, which would be not so bad to do, honestly. Well, he's keeping them back already. Uh, that's what we call a cash starve round. I don't know why, I guess because there's just not too much stuff going on to make money off of. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so um, maybe now it's good to push for the 1945. Uh, oh boy. So this is, ooh, you got it though. That was like a camel lead, which is a little scary, but you handled it just fine. But uh, yeah, I guess it was around that like, you know, you're a little bit farther in the round in the, in the game now, so it's gonna be more difficult. Yeah, we gotta make the round 80. So this is just full on hard mode, you know? So it's gonna get nasty. We need to make sure we're doing the best of our ability. This daily challenge might take up like the majority of today's episode, if we even are able to do it, you know? This might be too much of a challenge for me. Let's go ahead and try to get Shimmer. I think that that would be nice. The Necromanced Unpopped Army would be probably really great for how this map works. I'd have to imagine, right? We well, might want to save for something else first. Well, what is more expensive, the Necromancer or 3780, 25? Okay, definitely the Spike Balls is cheaper. So we'll do the Spike Balls um, and sort of work from there and sort of see how things end up going. Because that shouldn't be too bad. Like, we're actually earning up a lot of revenue at this point, so that's really nice. So this is what, I mean, yeah. he makes the totems, which at this point, I think they reveal stuff too. I also gotta make sure we're using his ability. The whole point of it being there is to be used, so let's make sure that actually happens. Okay, I'm not really good with keeping up with that when I should be. All right, 2590, almost there, almost there, ready, boom. And that should help, I think. That's the, sort of the best we can do with the spike trap right now. And then we can make another one, which is sort of my plan. Okay, so do we want you to have extra range or what? Or Heart of Oak? Thorns convert regrow balloons into normal. I feel like that'd be good though, especially for how much he's out there. So I think we'll push for that because the idea, you know, like that we might have some defenses for regrows would be really nice. And then maybe we can get another druid out that could boost all the other druids. Like that wouldn't be so bad either. Anyways, 380. There it is. Not so bad. So try to get 3780 now. I guess is our next best bet. Okay. Well, that's not a very good placement for the uh, thorns whatsoever. Okay. Lots of white balloons this time. Got the rainbow and the ceramic now too. This is where it gets scary. All these purple balloons are gonna be tough, but we seem to sort of kind of be handling them. I guess this is where it might be a necessity to get one of you. Because, you know, with this there's no magic involved. It's just beating them up, you know? Um, and that's good. For the purple balloons, I guess they're resisting the magic and fire, right? So you really want something that's just a lot of dart shooting power, so. That's good, airburst darts, all the kind of stuff. We'll probably do triple guns. So even though I wanted to save up for some other stuff, I feel like that's a little bit smarter. Hmm. Like it's hard no matter what, we need to save up for a little bit of everything. We got the triple guns out. And that's gonna be a lot more firepower. I feel like that was sort of the thing I was missing out on was probably the, uh, the submarine. Okay. Well, for now we're kicking butt. And that's what I was hoping for. So, uh, ooh, that is a lot of balloons as well, but like we're handling them, they're, ha they're having a hard time even getting to like the halfway point, which they have to go through like one, two, three, four logs before I'd say they're, or at least like three and a half logs. When they get to that fourth log, that's sort of the halfway point. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're almost there for the Necromancer. We just need, okay, yeah, about a thousand more, which shouldn't be too bad. If this right in the game, we're about, if this follows the normal constitutes, next round Moab as usual, or is it? Like, I don't really know. Moab. It's a ceramic Moab. Moab, so it's like, it's just crazy difficult comparatively to just hard mode in general, or just any mode in general. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's get to this. That should hopefully be good. Look at all those balloons pushing them back now. Yeah, that looks like it's going pretty nicely. Okay, boom, 
We got this as well. So you're doing lightning, you're knocking the balloons back. Balloons are also getting pushed back from the necromancy. So like lots of nice stuff happening there. 25,920 is gonna be a while if we even reach it. But I want to. Maybe that'll be what we try to focus on getting in today's episode as well. Let's for right now do the armor piercing darts. That'd be really great against all these Moabs we're having to deal with. It's gonna be a little bit of work getting there, but we'll get there. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Not so bad. We got a lot more to earn up. Hmm. Then maybe we'll put another submarine in the mix after that. I feel like that'd be a good idea. So there we go. Not as much armor to deal with there. Very nice. Got that. And then first off, we'll do the longer range. We'll do the barbed darts. Cause I feel like we could use more uh, lead protection. Like right now it's only so good when it could be much better. And then we'll do that of course. 16, 20 really shouldn't be that bad. Then I think we'll get another spike uh, or the, whatever's called, the spike factory set up. And that will be pretty nice. Ballistic missile, very good. So at this rate, things are really going our way. And we're more than halfway there. We were there at the uh, Moab round, halfway there. So now we're 47 out of 80. So things are going one way or another. Yes. But yeah, I think I wanna have a spike trap over this way. Cause I feel like this is where it really gets built up and intense. So if we could get some like long lasting spikes, the cow chops I think they are. Well no, that's what the ninja monkey has. They're sort of similar though. Sort of kind of the same. And maybe we'll also do faster produ production so that when they get there, it's like, oh my gosh, you know? Maybe it'd be nice to have a Moab shredder as well, but I'm hoping that with the rest of everything else, we will have enough um, Moab stuff going on. I need to get this long life spiked. That way, when we're producing so much stuff, it doesn't disappear like it just did. There we go. So now if we get the 970 uh, for the even faster production, it'll be fine. So they just have like this overwhelming amount of spikes to churn through if they actually get over here. And the deadly spikes, extra deadly spikes can pop through two layers per spike. I thought that'll be good to get. It really isn't that expensive. And like I'm not even looking and we're handling things pretty well. Okay, ready. Ooh, you had to go through all those. Didn't turn out too well for you. And they had to go through it like four different times because of how it's built. Like that's why this map is so great. And and they're sort of making it. That's a concerning part. But I feel like we're sort of pushing back as well. Okay, so I think our next best bet is either the ball of lightning, which uh, as you can see, creates powerful balls of lightning that shoot additional lightning bolts. That could be good, but I think it might be even smarter is getting a second druid out here and start building up his bottom path. If we could get Poplus, I feel, I feel like that would be good because that uh, benefits all the other druids. Yeah, and then maybe another magic monkey would also be good. So maybe we can even make him have lightning strike because I, I really like lightning strike. It's a helpful move. Come on, come on, boom, got it. So I think that's gonna help. Maybe we can do a third druid soon, but for right now let's do ma another magic monkey because I think that Oban works well with magic monkeys from what I remember. He never puts that in a good spot. Let's go all in with the fire attack this time, I think. And when we could do arcane spike, magic does extra damage to mom class balloons. Like that might actually be really good though. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. It'll be cheaper as well, which I feel like might be a good idea. The Phoenix is pretty good, but at the same time, I don't know if it's really necessary for this. It doesn't really feel like it. Maybe I'm totally wrong. There we go. Once again, it's so much cheaper. Like, we're, like this tier three is barely any more expensive than the uh, fire tier two. Oh boy, we got our BFB already. Okay, so $1,000, not bad, not bad. Boom. Okay, so next upgrade is 10,000, which is really expensive. Ooh, we got ourselves an upgrade for you. No, 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 not for you. Come on, come on. There we go, so we have spiked mines. Uh, spiked mines explode violently when they lose all of their spikes. Very cool. So let's check that out right now. 15,000, so we can either save the 15,000 for that or the 10,000 for this. I think we should go for the arcane spike then. For now, maybe we can change things up later. We'll get the wall of fire for now. But no matter what, that's gonna take a while to save for. Or maybe we should do the, I feel like we need to do anti-Moab because they're throwing a lot of Moabs at us. So if we could get the arcane spike for the Moab, I thought that'd be good. It was like, these two we're not getting anytime soon. So I think that's good. Like we could try for a Moab Shredder, but I don't know if that's entirely worth it either. Hmm. Anyways, we do have the money trees. I gotta keep that in mind. Nature's wrath, feel it. It's very wrathful. So yeah, if I set that up though, it should spit out bananas eventually. I just gotta pay attention for when it does that. I think that's how it works, right? Or maybe it just gives me the cash immediately. We'll find out sooner or later. 
There's not really the best placement for it. Okay. Well, it's going all right. Yeah, they're they're currently getting stopped at the trees, which is really nice. There's no way to like pop it or anything. It just sort of does what it does. I guess when the cooldown is over. No? Okay, there we go. I placed another one. It didn't really show up in a good spot this time. Um, so do we have 10,000? We do. There we go. Ooh, and that helped right away. Maybe that was just a coincidence, but I don't think so. Those mobs got out of there real quick. Hmm. All right, while well, we're just waiting for cooldowns, next thing to save up for is probably the 15,000. That is a lot. That is overwhelming. Maybe we could do Ball of Lightning, but at the same time, we destroy it, which is really nice. We're at 61 out of 80. We're pushing through. <laughs> really, this episode might be mostly focused on this daily challenge, which would be fine with me, I guess. Come on, Ball of Lightning, I'm almost there. Set this up, set that up. That's once again in a really bad spot. Those trees. Okay, well, there we go. I didn't set up the new trees, which are in not as bad of a spot, but still pretty bad of a spot. <laughs> okay, well. Level up, not bad. So what are we at now? We are at enough for the lightning ball. Go ahead and give it to him. And he just launches that lightning ball. Maybe not the really the best placement for the lightning ball. Sort of understanding how that works now, I don't think I've really seen it in action too much. It sort of works like the uh, dart monkeys, like catapult thing. Okay, so not so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and try to save, I don't know if 15,000 is really that good of an idea to save up for. We can try though. I didn't get any money from that one. Ooh, that one's gonna give me a lot of money. Level 53, what do we get? Uh, A monkey knowledge point, nice. Hopefully I can remember to use that at the end of today's episode. Okay. See, when he shoots it down that way, I feel like it's a lot more effective. It really just depends on which way he shoots it, so maybe I should always have him shoot it towards, no, 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 he can focus on first. I want you to focus on strong? Maybe that'd be smarter? We'll find out. That way when it's like towards his the, you know, the big Moabs and stuff. Like, I feel like it just works out better that way. For sure, I feel, I'm feeling that. Okay, so let's go ahead and boom, put that there. That was almost in a perfect spot, almost. Didn't quite get there. Okay, so we got lots of money coming in, but not quite the 15,000 I'm looking for. Almost at our last 10 rounds, so either things are gonna go well or not, you know? Sort of a bit of a 50-50 going on. I feel like after the 15,000 for the spike trap though, I think we're gonna go in with uh, druids. Cause you know, this guy's benefiting all the other druids. Let's really make that go to work, you know? Uh, and then we might go into like free play so I can really see if I can't get the 25,000 for the Prince of Darkness. That would be cool. That's something, that's something I wanna see. Okay, so spiked mines, come on. Only a couple thousand more. They're having a hard time getting to the second log as it is, like we're doing nice with that. That got us some bananas. But this is a worse tree placement. Okay. Look at all those fortified and forced Moabs. Like, there's like so much going on here, it's insane. But I feel like it's going, you know, it's like, it's happening, it's going well. Come on, come on. Set up another one of those. Oh, get the bananas, get the bananas. Not bad, we got it, boom. Got those spiked traps. That should be good. So now at this point, like I said before, let's focus on another druid. We'll put him, and I shouldn't be even able to put him here. Yep, and he'll still be in the range. So what do I wanna focus with him? I'm thinking we might just do another. I mean, we could try jungle's bounty, but that won't be too helpful. I mean, druid of the jungle though. Call vine from the ground to entangle and crush balloons one at a time. Don't know if that'd be all that much helpful. Hmm. Hard to say, I mean, maybe it'd just be good to have another uh, wizard, but this time have him, like have a focus like this. Well, that's what this guy had, right? No, it's not, okay. That might be worth it, might not be, might be a total waste. Hard to say. Uh. Oh, I didn't mean to select that one. Okay, well, we'll see if this works, because this guy up here, well, he had the same thing. <laughs> so I just really made another one. Maybe, maybe this is a bad idea, then maybe I should just sell him. Maybe that's just not worth the money. I don't know if, if, if it's worth selling him though. Maybe I just will upgrade his pop lust and leave him be and that's it. Uh, look like how much, this guy's popped 12,000, but this guy's popped 30,000, you know? So, hard to really say. Don't know if it's gonna be perfect. Maybe I could try another, if we could fit a submarine monkey in there. I don't think we're gonna be able to, unfortunately. So, uh, next best bet, maybe now's the time for the fire monkey? 
I don't know, maybe it's just worth the save money? I don't know. I don't know about that, saving money. <laughs> I'm going all in. Okay, so this is sort of working out, but at the same time, I don't know, this is where it gets scary, where it gets real scary. Let's go ahead and do that. I didn't get any bananas for the previous one. Ooh, they're storming in now, but the trees are really protecting against it, which is nice. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, destroy that stuff. Ooh, that was a really nice thing by the druid monkey, throwing out that lightning ball. Really got some good stuff done. Okay, so, so we need 38.90 for the dragon's breath. We'll try for it, we're almost there already. Set up one, another one of the vines. Okay, so we're good with that. Ready, set, dragon's breath. So, summon phoenix is actually pretty cheap for a tier four compared to, to some of the other tier fours for uh, magic monkeys. But I really just want that 25,000 tier five. But well, I feel like we need to complete this, this round first. Maybe that's silly though. Maybe I should just be trying to go for it and sort of see what happens. I feel like if that's the case, I should go ahead and first off get that. And then also um, get this whenever I can because especially with all these uh, Moabs that are showing up right now, like I feel like this is a good time to do that that power up because I really want to push for that 25,000 because I want to see that in this round. Is that uh, tier five monkey. I want to start checking out more tier fives. Um, in the series, is each episode check out a new tier five, obviously sometimes. Next round is a real stinker. This game knows my language. So what's going on with this? Imagine if there was a stinky balloon that like made the, the monkeys go pee you. <laughs> they wouldn't work for a second. That'd be tough to deal with. Hmm. Okay, so uh, almost at 10,000, so we're making some decent cash. Let me go ahead and set up another tree. That tree setup is okay. They're not really getting through the spike traps though, so. I mean, for it being a stinker, it really isn't. Okay, here we go, here we go, oh my gosh! Oh, the trees really helped there. That was nice, okay, so things got scary towards the end, I guess that's why it's a stinker, you think you're fine, and then boom, it hits you with everything. Okay, so we're getting through as much as we can. Go ahead and set up another vine. Okay, this is where it gets crazy. Oh my gosh. So we need another $10,000 if we wanna keep going with that. Maybe I should try, increase cash production from all of your towers by 25% for the rest of this round and the entire next round. So we wanna do that at the beginning of a round. Uh, so, but it's just like we have a zone we can get, so I feel like it's still good to just cash this in. And then also, um, like maybe give a boost to everybody, make them all more powerful. I think that's gonna help because this thing is gonna be tough no matter what. Doing that might be also helpful. Why did, did he put the best placement of the trees ever at the worst timing, shortly after I was ready for it? Wow, we are destroying this thing. It's trying to rush through. Actually, there's a lot more balloons left over. Oh boy, we did it. ZOMG, that was tough. Okay, so we got another one. A two for one deal right now. Come on, come on. We got it. So is this just gonna go right over the trees? Oh my gosh, we have so many. More than one. Holy cow! Oh gosh, this is bad. If I could get this dude to do his thing, because you random as even more powerful powerful balloons and serv servants to obliterate the enemy. Like if I could just get, find a way to get 5,000 more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, destroy those balloons. Oh my, oh my, that's a lot, that's a lot. But they're not even getting through the trees really. Victory! Congratulations on completing this track on hard, 140 monkey money, and then a 202. But we're gonna continue through free play because I wanna check some other stuff out. First off, let's go ahead and get some extra money through these bananas. Lots of Zeon, not BFBs going through here. Come on, we, we, can, we can handle this. This is fine, this ain't no problem. Come on, destroy it. Ooh, more money for us and then get that, and then we have it, we have it, ready, boom! Hopefully we can actually see it in action though, things are getting a little overwhelming right now. Oh no, oh no, there we go. <laughs> I just really wanna see him in action. First off, boom, we have ourselves the Prince of Darkness. Reanimate even more balloon, powerful balloon servants to obliterate the enemy. What does that mean? So like, what is he gonna spawn in? Is he gonna be spawning in like, like ghost BFBs. Yeah, there's one! Oh, look at him go, that is so cool! Ah, oh, I love that. That was worth $25,000 right there. I like it. Um, with that being said, I don't know if we're gonna go any farther than this. I'll try. 
have some fun with this while we have it, you know? Uh, but at this rate, I'm thinking we should try another one of these and push for the center upgrade. Really get that Moab Shredder. Maybe this is something I should have done sooner. Um, but we can work with it. Oh my gosh, look at how far those ceramic, the, uh, the ceramic Moabs are going, it's crazy. Oh, I didn't even see what got past us there. We got defeated on round like 81, 82, something like that. Not too surprised, but we had a lot of fun with that, I think. Got a quick glimpse of that ultimate necromancer, or whatever his name was. And we do have one point of monkey knowledge. I think we're gonna put that more into the heroes because look at this, we have our next upgrade, which should be pretty huge. Self-taught heroes, heroes earn experience 10% faster. That's a pretty big one if you ask me. Um, the next one we should probably get is at level 20. Here's level three ability cooldown. I mean, actually, that's not too crazy right now, I don't think. I don't think we need to worry about that because it's it's pretty rare that we get to a spot where the heroes are at level 20. I think we need to focus on heroes base cost reduced by 20, 10%. Like, that is huge. Like, 10%, we take a look, that would be 200 coins for Captain Churchill, you know? How crazy is that? 60 coins for Oban, 75 coins for Striker Jones, uh, 90 coins for Gwendolyn and 70 coins for Quincy. That's some good money saving right there. Well, with all of that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts on that upgrade of the Magic Monkey or that, you know, tier of the Magic Monkey, which of course was the Prince of Darkness. I thought it was super cool. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think it's worth it or not for 24,000 coins in game? I guess it's the uh, medium level cost. It seems pretty cool. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Necro Zebra so now you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.